And welcome back to Value City Arena as we just saw a game between the Canisius Golden Griffins and the Ohio State Buckeyes. My name is Nate Rubenstein. Alongside me, my partner, Dylan Tyrer. Final score, Canisius 56. Ohio State comes up top with 89 points, and we saw a lot today. Dylan, let's start with Kelsey Mitchell breaking some scoring holders. Yeah, Kelsey Mitchell, a couple of records today, moves up first to sixth on the all-time scoring list and then to fifth on the all-time scoring list. Today she finished with 19 points. She was 9 of 17 from the field, so over 50%. Did not have that set success from three-point range, though, but a person that did step up for Ohio State and fill in for her uh, three-point misses was Tori McCoy. She finished with a double-double, 17 points, 11 rebounds, and was 7 of 8 from the floor, also three of three from that free throw line, something that she's improved on all season long. And really, she stepped up today for Ohio State, coming off of her best game of the season, a 25-point performance against Southern. She was 10 of 10 in that one shooting. This one, she was 7 of 8, was perfect until late in that fourth quarter. But she was huge for Ohio State, also finished with a block. Another important player for the Buckeyes in this one was Michaela Waterman. Two of five from the field, so not impressive there, but five of six from the free throw stripe. Nate, nine points, nine rebounds, and five assists. She led Ohio State in assists in this one, and I've been so impressed with her this season. We also today got a look at Ohio State's youth. We saw Tori McCoy, who I already mentioned, Kiara Lewis, who had 10 points, filling in for Kelsey Mitchell and Asia Doss off the bench was fantastic. And we also saw Jensen Coretti just a little bit. Coretti had two rebounds and four points as well. On the other side, for Canisius, Sarah Hinkins, Hinker's daughter had 14 points to lead them. Sarah Cooley had 11 points, and half Danner daughter had 10 points. DeHaan had 10 as well for Canisius. They just didn't have it in this one as they started off hot, but Ohio State too much to handle late, Nate, uh, and they clamped down on the defense for the win. And so that will do it. Final score one more time. Ohio State 89, Canisius 56. Thanks for tuning in to BTM Plus today. We hope to see you next time.